Uh, obviously, I don't know the answer to that question, but I will say uh, two things. The first thing is that what Mr. Chichek said, uh, and of course I'm not going to defend him for saying it, is, however, strictly within the limits of what the leaders of Turkey always say. Because they are the only country in the world who have recognized the quote TRNC unquote. They have to say that. The rest of the world shrugs its shoulders and says this is the expected path of the course. And then they try to see, as if in the old days with criminology, whether there is any slightly different formulation further down the line. It's a bit like criminology or pekinology today. Um, anyhow, if the Turkish government was going to make a move, it would not be Mr. Chichek who would be set up to announce it. It would be somebody else. It would be Egemen Bagis. Or it would be Davutoglu. Or it would be uh, President Gül. It would be somebody like that. It wouldn't be Erdogan. Erdogan would hang, stand back. But he, there would be somebody else who would, who would uh, put forward a, a, a kite, fly a kite, if a kite, kite was to be flown. Now, I think we have to get away from the idea which is held by many Greek Cypriots and Turkish Cypriots, that uh, the Cyprus problem is uh, in the hands of some supreme world powers. There are no supreme world powers left. The United States for 10 years, or perhaps even more, almost 15 years, from 1990, 1989, let's say, to 2004, until the Iraq came apart, looked and behaved as if it was a supreme power, no longer. There is no other country which remotely is in the United States' place. Every country in the world of the big countries, of the important countries, China, Russia, United States, France, Britain, has certain points of strength and certain points of weakness. This means that medium-sized power and Turkey's par excellence, a medium-sized power, it's a member of the G20, let us not forget, so it is a clear case of a medium-sized power has a great deal of manoeuvre. And that is why what Turkish people say to the Turkish government and what Turkish Cypriot messages, Turkish Cypriot people send messages to the Turkish government to the degree that they can, is very significant. For instance, it was very significant that Mehmet Ali Talat had the courage to say, two weeks ago, more significant, I think, than what Mr. Chichek said, to say that it was a mistake to declare UDI in 1983. That was a very brave thing for Mehmet Ali Talat to have said. And he was at once slapped down by the nevers in uh, the Turkish Cypriot community. And he didn't back down. He said, I said it, and I was right. And he was right to do that. When people accuse Dmitry Krasovyas and Mehmet Ali Talat of not preparing their public opinion, that, for instance, is a very good example of preparing public opinion. We made a mistake. If we can correct it, we shall correct it is the implication. Thank you. Any other question? Can I just say that um, we're going to finish spot on? 7.30. 7 7.30. 7 um, and I want everybody to say who they are just so, so that we can know who's here and other people can know who you are um, when you speak. Um, are there any other questions? Or shall I? Right. Can you uh, uh, say who you are? Yes, but everybody else doesn't. George Lemons. Can I ask um, how, what sort of weights you put on the nevers in number terms? Yes, there has been a great deal of polling. Uh, and uh, the nevers in the Greek Cypriot community are uh, not under a third of the population. They're about a third of the population. Uh, in the Turkish Cypriot community, it's much harder to say because the definition of Turkish Cypriot, as we all know, is a very vague one, given that there are a lot of Turkish Cypriots are not Turkish Cypriot. Uh, and the Turkish Cypriots who are not Turkish Cypriot are affected by the Turkish government to a degree that no Greek Cypriot is affected by the Greek government. I mean, everybody agrees that the Greek government has very little say in Greek Cypriot public opinion. It has a say with the Greek Cypriot leadership. There it has a say, and an important say, because it's the main diplomatic support for the Greek Cypriots. But on the popular level, it doesn't. But per contra, the Turkish government has a very big say on a popular level, because a very large proportion of the Turkish Cypriot body politic is in fact Turkish. 
So there, there, it's, it's a very different situation. Therefore, I would be much more careful in predicting the no vote in a Turkish Cypriot community, because it will depend very largely on what the Turkish government of the day does. Per contra, on the Greek Cypriot side, I think if you add up, and there's been very detailed polling done, uh, a settlement which means that the Turkish army leaves Cyprus within a number of years under Chapter 7 of the United Nations Charter. And if anybody wants to see what Chapter 7 says, I've got it here, if anybody is interested, because it's very crucial. This is what Akel asked for last time and didn't get. And that's when they finally said, OK, vote now. We don't get this, we vote now. It was the, the final critical thing before the previous referendum. If there is an arrangement by which, not in 20 years' time, but in X, but we're talking technically, what is tech, determined by technical factors, not determined by we stay here because we are here and therefore we stay here, technical things that mean that you can't go at once, you want to set up institutions, you want to set up a police force, uh, you want to set up all the various things that needed to be set up for the new, whatever we call it, URC it was last time, United Republic of Cyprus, okay, whatever it's to be called. And then the army withdraws under Chapter 7, which means that if they don't withdraw, there are sanctions. It means that the Turkish leadership will have said, we are serious, we are intending to withdraw, because our position in Cyprus is no longer necessary because the Turkish Cypriots will have, through the constitutional settlement, everything that they need to have in order to be secure and in order to have their full say in the government of the country, an equal say in the government of the country. If that is to happen, the no vote in the Greek Cypriot community will be about a third, and the yes vote will be about two thirds. And that we're pretty sure of. But we're not sure on the Turkish Cypriot side because it will depend on what the Turkish government says. However, if the Turkish government has by then got to the point of saying that, then the Turkish government is going to have to pull its stops out to get a yes vote. Why? Because you may be absolutely sure that in the drama, the political drama that has been prayed out in Turkey the last three years between the army and the AKP, the army will do everything it can that a settlement will not take place. So if the AKP decides to go for it, then it will have to pull out all its stops in order to get a yes vote amongst the Turkish Supremes. But it has to decide first that it's going to do that. And as our gentleman, Mr. Suleiman, is that right? Is that your name? Um, pointed out, there is absolutely no sign as yet. If you asked me, as uh, a well-informed outside observer, I would say there is not, I have not one hesitation that Dmitry Kristofiats and Mehmet Ali Talat are negotiating in good faith. I have no hesitation at all in saying that. But I have serious hesitation as to whether the Turkish government has yet got the message. And I simply don't know. The logic suggests they should have, but there is no sign of it yet at all. And therefore, I don't disagree with Mr. Suleiman. This is my agony. Have they got the message? Will they get the message? Who will help them get the message? At the present time, speaking of the various outside powers, the two most critical ones are Britain and the United States because they are friends of Turkey. It's well known that France is not a friend of Turkey at the present moment. There were times in the past when it was a very close friend of Turkey, but today it's not. And it's fair to say that China and Russia will do economic deals with Turkey, but would not be described as friends of Turkey, political friends of Turkey. Britain and the United States are. I'm very glad to be able to say, because I'm a British citizen as well as a Greek citizen, that Britain is, for the first time, doing a very good job. They are getting the message across. I'm very sad to say that the United States is at the present time very clearly not giving any message at all across. So um, we have mixed messages. 